Act 3, Scene 7 is considered by many to be the most climactic scene in King Lear. In this scene, Cornwall writes a letter to Albany stating that the French army is invading. He gets Goneril and Edmund to go and deliver the letter together. Then Cornwall's men find Gloucester and bring him in. They want to punish Gloucester for helping Lear. Let's see what happens. Regan and her husband Cornwall interrogate Gloucester, asking him all about Gloucester's secret letter, which Edmund told them about. Gloucester explains that he expects to see God take vengeance and punish Cornwall and Regan for their actions. Cornwall responds by saying that he'll make sure that Gloucester will never be able to see that day coming. See it shalt thou never. Fellows, hold this chair. Upon these eyes of thine I'll set foot. He that will think to live till he be old, give me some help. Ah! Gruesome, I know. Now what happens next really shows us just how evil Regan is. She tells her husband to take out Gloucester's other eye as well. But before Cornwall gets to take out the other eye, one of Gloucester's servants stop Cornwall, telling him that what's being done is just plain wrong. The servant and Cornwall start to fight in a sword match and Cornwall gets severely wounded. Now Regan unfairly helps Cornwall by stabbing the servant with a sword when the servant isn't looking. Wow, how could she even do that? It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Jeez. Anyways, the wounded Cornwall is now bleeding, but he must stick to his evil plans. He says, out vile jelly, and continues to poke out the other eyeball of Gloucester's. Gloucester is now in extreme pain. What he says next leaves us, the audience, with a mixed set of emotions. All dark and comfortless, where's my son Edmund? Edmund enkindle all the sparks of nature to quit this horrid act. Out, treacherous villain, thou callst on him that hates thee. It was he that made the overture of thy treason to us, who is too good to pity thee. Oh, my follies, that Edgar was abused. Kind gods, forgive me that and prosper him. So there you have it. This is a scene where Gloucester finally realizes that he had been tricked all along by Edmund. Edgar was his loving son, not Edmund. What's really interesting about this scene is the speed in which Gloucester realizes the truth. And the idea that he realizes and sees the truth immediately after becoming blind is quite ironic but something worth thinking about. In the end of the scene, Regan and Cornwall kick Gloucester out of his own palace and send him off to fend for himself.